Hi Taurus, this is a general reading that could help any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. So uh, hopefully you find something helpful here. We'll take a look at the messages and energies uh, for October to help you plan accordingly. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups, we have the Two of Pentacles, and we have the Empress, Major Arcana, Empress uh, showing up again. So with the Ace of Cups, we see this beautiful cup or chalice uh, gleaming. It's gold. The water is flowing. It's surrounded by water. And the water is symbolic of our emotions and our ability to connect and to express our emotions and to show love to others and to show love to ourselves as well. So when we see aces, they are gifts or blessings from the universe. And this may be an opportunity. This may be a chance for you to connect with someone, to meet someone, to develop some type of rapport or connection that brings you such happiness, such joy, such delight. And, uh, you know, this is what the Ace of Cups is about. It's about the potential or the promise of happiness in relationships and happiness within you emotionally. And so if you are looking to date, looking to meet someone, it's important to do some of the work yourself, which is to put yourself in places to meet different people, to have exposure to many different types of folks, because you never know what's going to happen. If you are in a re loving relationship right now, this is a chance to deepen that relationship, to express how you feel, to do something kind, to show how you care. So it's simply a lovely, lovely card. And we have the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles, the man here has the pentacles in his hand and uh, is doing his best to, not to drop them. And it goes to all the things that we have going on in our life, the how busy we are with responsibilities, commitments, obligations, bills, mortgages, all the things that uh, we have to take care of. And if we don't take care of them, who's going to take care of them? So there's a lot to juggle. There's a lot to balance. And sometimes we feel out of balance. Sometimes we feel that we're not having enough time to enjoy life or enough playtime. Sometimes we feel uh, that we're unable to give the people that we love enough time. So it's a matter of really thinking about how you're going to apply your energies, how you're going to prioritize. So Tuesday is a day to think about how you, uh, how you keep it all together and what needs to go at the top of the list is to create the balance for yourself within the scope of everything that you do and trying to make it uh, more easeful, easeful, if I can say that this today, E-A-S-E, -E, more uh, full of ease, how about that, than what maybe then you're feeling. So two of pentacles, keeping the balance, maybe feeling more active, having a lot going on that you feel that you have to uh, think about or that's taking your time. And then we have the Empress, and the Empress is uh, this incredibly loving and kind woman. She's feminine, she's sensual, she loves abund abundance and the abundance of nature, the abundance and the comfort of home, of feeling good and content and satisfied. And she is able to provide love and caring to those that she cares about, the, those within her environment or her community. 
And so the Empress, um, perhaps you are going to be having some, some support and love from someone within your life. That extra gentle touch or you could be the empress and you could be nurturing and taking care of your children, your siblings, your spouse, your friends, you know, you may be the one that's connecting and offering that love. So it goes without saying that the empress is also uh, thinking about fertility and children. So it could be for some of you, focus on children. Uh, some of you may be hoping to have a child or you're with a child. The Empress is about nurturing and taking care of life. And that life includes your inspiration, the things that you hope to do, the passions that you hope to follow. So it's always nice when we see the Empress to sit and reflect on really what makes us happy and what we do, the people that we spend it with. You know, when you, if you have an idea that you want to take along or move forward, then do so and take care of that idea, nurture the idea, bring it out to, you know, it's natural conclusion really giving birth to your ideas so if you're thinking about learning how to sew and it's something that you've been really crazy to do then start to start to make the plans to do to do it and then from there again provided that you can find the right balance within your life is to try to spend a little time each day learning and, and practicing the skill of sewing. If that's your passion and if that's what you want to do, because that ability and the skill to learn how to sew can open up so much to you. There's such a wonderful world of, of being more creative. So this is a lovely spread for Tuesday. Let's take a look at what we have for the numbers. We have uh, one and two is three, three and three is six, and six is about social consciousness or social compassion. It's about finding peace. It can be about um, uh, trying to gather stability. And then finally, let me choose an oracle card for an affirmation for the day. Cleanse and detoxify. With great love and respect, we ask, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we'll help you develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress as well as ease any sorrow or shedding your old ways. Give your cares, worries, and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. So when I see cleanse and detoxify, you know, I think it's an important part of this Two of Pentacles finding balance, which is finding the time to make sure that you're taking care of your body and that you are taking care of yourself mentally. I love what it said about shedding your old ways. We can't shed them all at once, but if we can make one small little move, that's helpful. So this is what I have for you for the day. I hope that you found something helpful. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, or comment. Check out your weekly Reading by Zodiac sign. That would be awesome if you did. Have an awesome day and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.